So it looks like Dua did it again. Four brand new fragrances, all original creations, and three of them are super gourmands. One of them has been in such high demand that it's actually sold out already. I checked the website this afternoon. It was sold out, but here we have four exceptional fragrances. I'm looking forward to telling you all about them very soon, so make sure to stay tuned. In today's episode and I tell you about these four fragrances from the Dua brand. They're all brand new, all gourmands, although one of them can be a little bit on the floral side of things. I do want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content and if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So let's just dive right into it. The first one that I want to talk about is Sweet Banana Loaf. So this one has the banana, it has that bread accord in here. There's a touch of vanilla, it smells a bit uh, syrupy as well. And wow. <laughs> so it definitely has that fullness to it. It's very rich, very thick. You can tell it contains a lot of base heavy ingredients. It's super, super, super sweet. And it definitely smells like the most delicious dessert. And I love the authenticity of the banana note. So here's the funny thing. Dua has done another banana based fragrance called Dirty Banana. And that one smelled like those little banana candies you get from the 25 cent candy dispenser that you would find at like your local mall. I know my barber shop used to have one back in the day. This doesn't smell like that. And I know those candies have a specific name to them, but they elude me right now. This smells like an actual banana bread or something that you would bake in the kitchen. It is so delicious. Here we have chocolate wafers and coffee. So this one has almond macadamia nut. It has the chocolate, of course, as the name implies. And yeah, wow. So this one, the chocolate note is not as strong as many other chocolate based fragrances from the Dua brand, most of which I've covered on this channel because I love their original creations, especially considering the fact that a lot of their originals tend to lean in the gourmand direction and I'm a sucker for gourmand fragrances. But this one, it has that sweet, delicious treat vibe about it where again, it just smells super, super edible. I love this one to death. This one, I think it might be my if I were to compare it to the first one, I think I like it a little bit less than the first one, which is the banana fragrance. That one has a little bit more originality to it, I suppose. And I say that only because I've smelled tons and tons and tons of chocolate based fragrances, haven't really smelled that many banana based fragrances. So the next one is a bit on the floral side of things, exotic vanillic spring. And this one, to me, the initial impression I got is, okay, this smells a bit like jasmine or gardenia or something like that. Of course, it has that musky vanilla in the dry down. And despite vanilla being in the name, it's not an overdose of vanilla. But right away, I got something fruity in here. And I was like, okay, is this lychee? Is it raspberry? There's something fruity about this fragrance. And that fruity component is so strong, in fact, that I think it could have been in the name of the fragrance. But of course, with spring being in the name, I was immediately reminded of floral ingredients and I am getting a clean floral nuance, something that I suspect is jasmine. This one is very bright, very pleasant, very smooth, serene, not super effervescent or citrusy or uplifting in that regard. It's not energizing, but it has this a smooth sort of a tranquil vibe that I think is really nice. Okay, so the last one is the one that's sold out online. And, uh, you know, I saw it initially being posted about in the Facebook groups and people had a lot of really positive things to say about it. And there was a lot of excitement surrounding this one. I guess the hype has been building up on this one for a very, very long time. And after I smelled it, it really comes as no surprise as to why it's sold out. This stuff is bonkers. It's so good. This one is cotton candy milk. So there is, a uh, kind of a demand for milky fragrances, it seems. And uh, I know Bianco Latte is a really popular one and I have experience with a few milky perfumes, a couple from the brand Chobod. And of course there's one by Fueguia called Quilombo, which is an Argentinian brand. 
But here we have cotton candy milk and... <laughs> Let me tell you something, this stuff is delicious. Okay, so the one thing that I love about this one is that the cotton candy accord, if you will, is so authentic. Every time when I think of cotton candy, I think of this aroma molecule called ethyl maltol. And I know for a lot of people, when they think of cotton candy, they might also be reminded of something like Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. I love how different this is from that. So this kind of went beyond my expectations and I love it for that reason. And as far as milk being in the name, yes, it is creamy, it's lactonic, it's milky. And it does kind of remind me of some of those other fragrances that I spoke about and some of those other brands that I spoke about that produce milky perfumes. This stuff is so good. It's so easy to wear. And it's also reminding me of something else that I know I have in my collection, but it's not immediately coming to mind. And I, I, I wish it would, because as soon as I pinpoint it, I'm going to be like, ah, that's what it's reminding me of. But Again, thinking of Fueguia, thinking of some of those other perfumes, this stuff is amazing. Look, my two favorites, Cotton Candy Milk and Banana Loaf, these are both amazing. Sweet Banana Loaf, correction. But anyway, have you had a chance to try any of these? I know sometimes Duo will include samples for upcoming launches, so it's possible that there are people out there that have tried these fragrances despite the fact that they just dropped. Nevertheless, let me know what you think. Drop your comment down below. The most inexpensive one on this entire list is basically 33 bucks. So these fragrances are going for a really, really good price. Extract the Parfum strength, so 10 plus hours longevity. Try them for yourself. Hey, thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you took something of value from today's episode. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm as well. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.